I one quick unboxing. I just received this uh, post, so I will unboxing in this way just to see if everything is fine inside. This is it came. I think it should be the wash inside, which I buy through eBay. It's not new, it's used one. So this is just to check. Oh, it's a bullet precision. I can see the box is nice, no damages, it's obviously used, so it's not new, but doesn't matter. And it's a sponge and inside this voila ultra high frequency. Just let me see. Set and watch. Okay, so that is here. And this is the watch. And this is quartz. And as you can see, the hands have nice sweeping motion. And as you can see, it's a I'll try to do it. Two six two kilohertz, three hundred meters, and this is nice looking watch. Oh, this is the spare links inside. Voila. All in. Yeah, definitely spare links and pins. I can see it, but it's sticky inside. And it's screwable spins. You can see it's a screwable. So three pins, three links. Everything is in. As you can see, here is the watch. Oh, it's a massive one. I like that. Oh yeah. Just let me clear this a bit. out of the sign camera it's a beautiful watch and I'm not joking <laughs> I can't believe the price I pay for it for this beautiful watch and it's this is something this is the best quartz movement can can offer right in I don't know in indefinitely because well there is some few um, uh, quartz movement which are the, I will not say better but it's ma made differently because they are made for the space and when I say space and the quartz that means they are um, uh, quartz is um, not so resistant on the temperature change so each of um, I will say regularly watch quartz watch it's uh, temperaturally uh, regulated for the uh, human body temperature. Oh, this is the smallest, small for mine, but I have three links more, so I couldn't put it right now. I will change the links and it's screwable, so no problem there. So, um, for the space um, environment, uh, they made uh, special temperature regulated watches. Uh, because it's very important for the uh, quartz watch to be on the same temperature. If you change temperature, you change accuracy of the um, quartz. Very simple. So, but in regular earth uh, condition, this is the best you can have from the quartz. And as you can see, this is the really nice sweep movement. Actually, Every quartz uh, movement can do this because it's inside this step motor, which is regulated by and uh, commanded by electronic mi microchip, and the uh, microchip uh, took the um, uh, uh, tact from uh, quartz oscillator. So it's, it's very simple. But uh, the point is why uh, ordinary quartz movement takes every second is to save the energy. So the the ordinary quartz which tick every second usually can have better life 
three to five years. This one, only one year. But I don't care. Look at this wait a second. And it's 300 meters waterproof. It should be, at least. And it's beautiful watch. I like this one. I like this one. So, that is a few unboxing, just quick unboxing. Um, and it's this is a really nice watch. I like this one. Everything is just done properly. And bracelet is nice. It's a heavy watch. This is proper men's watch. Oh, I, I I need to change or put a few few links on. I think two will be enough. And look at this, it's a beautiful watch. So, thank you for watching. Okay, uh, here is one update um, because I was lately wearing this watch and uh, I really like this Bolova. It's a Precision Serian series, and it is. Right now, I actually came prepared, so I did write a few things on the paper. This is 96G131 um, uh, model, but everybody say it's a B, 96B131. But on the Bulova page, they say it's a G model. Um, why I like this watch? Well, for instance, this is the quartz. But as you can see, there is a really sweep motion with, of the second hand. I did some research and I find actually the movement of the second hand is 16 Hz. So it means it moves 16 times in one second. For instance, for instance, this is the Solita SW200-1. And this sweeping second is moving uh, four times in one second. So I'll just try to. Well, they're obviously not synchronized as you can see, but if I do like this. So this one is going four times a second. And this one is going 16 times in seconds. So as you, you can see, it's really sweep motion on the... And this is mechanical watch. This is quartz watch. Uh, I didn't know with uh, which watch to or movement to compare. But then I remember, okay, I do have something good. Mechanical. And uh, that is this. This is Seiko Nanta with the spring drive uh, caliber inside um, this one use 5r86 i think just give me a second i did have few papers with the memo i i did put this on but it's 5r86 uh, uh, there is a two two of them it's a nine series 9r and 5r uh, the difference is only in practically in a rotor which each of them use and the nine series is usually not usually it's only only used in in grand seiko because grand seiko is now this different sub uh, sub company of seiko but is the actually same uh, movement five series and nine series and now you can see the sweeping second this Two are synchronized. Why? Because I uh, yesterday I synchronized this one with uh, Bulova uh, chronograph part because this is the chronograph and usually second hand is big second hand is in 12 o'clock position and right there is the small hand which is actually moving right. But I did synchronize them and as you can see, they are almost the same. Actually, they are the same because, uh, as my um, investigation on the on the internet said, this one is too moving. Um, uh, well, actually, this one should move 32 times 
per second uh, because the quartz the, this is the little bit <laughs> different this is the mechanical watch as you can see it's open case so I'll just this is the mechanical watch pure mechanical watch but it is controlled not by the balance wheel well it it have balance wheel but the point is um, the balance wheel is controlled by electromagnet and it's um, microchip inside control the balance wheel the spinning of the balance wheel so it's actually breaking all the time and that's why actually there is no ticks practically it's just one sweeping movement of the second hand it's 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 beautiful technology and at my opinion something the best in the mechanical world no, nothing can compete with this one in mechanical world but in same time nothing can compete with this in quartz world well actually in mechanical world too because uh, this one um, have accuracy of 10 seconds per year so in one year can go 10 seconds plus or minus which is marvelous result and um, usual crystal, usual uh, quartz movements have crystal with two prongs which vibrates this one have three prongs so actually this one is uh, vibrate uh, eight times more than um, usual quartz with two prongs uh, usual quartz vibrates per I think 32 hertz no two, 32 kilohertz per second and this one uh, vibrate 262 point, uh, 62 point something hertz um, per second so that's why it's so precise and it's also uh, temperature regulated uh, inside this uh, bu well um, Bulo is now part of the citizen uh, but inside this, uh, I will say, Bulova movement or, or caliber P102.12. Uh, it has eight jewels inside. And uh, it's, it's really the, the best, actually, you, you can have from the quartz world. Um, this is the big watch. But it's really nice to wear. In, in, and it's, it's not light. Uh, I already you already saw this this is just update but the thing I didn't mention it's it's curved crystal together with the bezel um, it's a mineral crystal but when you see it it's, it's beautiful uh, the bezel is not movement because uh, you, you can rotate the base rotate the bezel because it's uh, obviously it's it's curved just like the glass but it's 300 meters watch uh, also inside in the middle part you have um, Kevlar part uh, and you have here you have inserts in 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 dial and you can see metal uh, parts which are the there's the, the it's really nice to see actually but this what you what you see in between is actually metal between uh, below the dial uh, this is simply the most amazing looking watch I, I have ever seen to be honest because it's so leveled and 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 so, so many things going on this watch uh, this part with the with the date window uh, it's 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 have nice pattern actually it's not called but you, you can see it's it's a lot of different colors on, on on the watch my phone camera just doesn't give the right view now you can maybe you can see it's this color part and a um, lot of different stuff going on, on on this watch it's it's really nice watch I like it and uh, this is only thing I can compare the sweeping hand, uh, sweeping second hand, uh, because it's it's so nice. As I say, this is the twenty-eight point eight 
hundred of the uh, bits per, per hour or four kilo or four hertz four times per second and this one this is the SW200 uh, Solita movement inside and in this one is Seiko NH35 which beats 21,600 bits per hour or three hertz so this is very robust movement. I like this movement inside. It's uh, this is a zealous uh, hammerhead stainless steel version. I just changed the um, I just changed the bezel to the uh, bronze one. But I will try to put them. Oh, this is the Christopher Ward uh, C60 Trident uh, bronze one, and it's age just like just nice. I like it. You see, it's much more darker than was before so these three watches are mechanical and this is the quartz and I will just try to show you all of them I practically synchronized yesterday around midday and I was trying to collect all the possible data I can ha find uh, about Bulova, so I decided to do it now. And as you can see right now, it's almost 1 p.m. But these two watches uh, was synchronized yesterday, and it's going in seconds. Same, practically. As you can see, these two are, um, and I may say um, this. Uh, Solito movements inside is quite good. Uh, this one is going around some around eight, I think eight seconds uh, is going in plus. I think I'm not sure anymore, but I check everything. You can check one of my videos with this. So, but we are still talking about this watch. So, this is the sweetest quartz movement I ever had and this is a really nice watch it's a big watch nice watch I like it and uh, I really like this watch well I know I, I said that many times but it is true uh, this is 300 meter yeah I said that it's uh, have carbon fiber center section and then it's, it cuts out around the dial and you can see I, I trying to move um, it's etched well yeah that is the right expression etched uh, metal surface below the dial um, it's it's quite unusual effect actually at the moment at the first I, I didn't know what it is but th then I check it much more uh, in detail and actually it's it, it is the metal be, below the the dial and this is the actual cutouts in dial and below that is it's etched metal and in the middle is uh, carbon fiber insert and this is the also uh, insert this date part just a beautiful watch nothing else Okie dokie guys and girls, of course. Um, this is my update for the Bulova Precision, Precisionist uh, 96G131. Um, and it actually, it's, I don't know, still, I find few info that this series of watch, because there is a lot of different, um, uh, they are all 96 uh, B, G, I, and I think there is a C version, and there is uh, numbers behind it's 131, 126, I don't know what, uh, but it's it's all from the same series, and the old series called Chaplain Watch. I don't know, probably maybe a guy with name Chaplain designed it, but if anybody knows for sure, please do comment below. Beautiful watch. Thank you for watching.